Father, we worship you at this moment. Jesus, our Savior and Redeemer, we love you. Holy Spirit, our Comforter and Counselor, we glorify you. Thank you, Lord, for the living presence of the triune God in this most beautiful holy sacrament. Dear loving children of God, good to be here at this time. Let us worship God and adore and glorify His name. Thanking God for this day and all the activities of this day. As we are about to close the activities of this day, preparing ourselves for to go for a good rest. Good to remember what He has done in our lives today. Good to have conscience what I have done today, what I did today, how I spent my day today, how much time I spent with God and how much I helped the other and how much I helped myself. In silence, let us worship the Lord and giving glory to God using our as we read in the gospel love your God with all your heart with all your strength with all your mind and with all your soul let 
could spend this time beautifully with him couple of or one or two three minutes Let us also acknowledge our failures of this day. Our comings and our sins of today. And ask the Lord pardon. What a beautiful teachings that we heard today during the holy mass when we heard the gospel Jesus was speaking not only to Pharisees and even today to me and to you It's not important to wash and keep clean always the dish or a cup and not even ready to clean inside it's important to clean and keep it tidy and neat the inner part of it or inside the dish or a cup
That's why Jesus maybe went an extreme way calling to them fools because even though they are adults they are responsible people but not looking after what is most important instead doing what is wicked things they are not even worried or they are not even conscious about what they do they worried only external part of it and making it so clean and beautiful and inside it smelling the people that they do this to get the acceptance of a community or the people around to let them know that i'm doing good or i I'm, i'm i'm good in everything good to reflect today this evening if i am if i am such and such person who is not worried about my soul who is not worried about what is happening within me if i only give time to beautify my external part of life or just the beauty of my outward look then i will be also in that group of fools don't give much importance to the comments of the people about you but it is always most important what you say about your own self what you say about your own self is a big truth about your life it is good to meet one's own self within a meeting with the self within self there we can unfold all the truths of that self and also it is good to reflect what god thinks about me when i am worried what others think about me what others say about me what others will speak about me when i have such a kind of thoughts in my life about others opinions automatically i will be busy to beautify my outer look than inside it is good to be real for satisfying one's own self So we thank God for this beautiful passage that Jesus taught us you don't waste your time much only 
keeping clean and tidy the outer look of your life and inside it is really smelling or inside it is really weak take your time and energy to build up something so strong and solid within self because every day every day life brings with lot of suspenses and different kinds of packages which we never know about it so many things happens unexpectedly in our life and nobody is fully learned life everyone is trying to learn according to the suspenses of life Thank you Lord for teaching us that we need to look after the realities that what I think about myself is most important what God thinks about me should be my ultimate goal or my ultimate aim and least bothered about what others think about me When others think about me they can be right they can be wrong But when I think about myself I can do only right Because I know my motivations I know my intentions I know my strength and I know my weaknesses Let us spend one or two minutes in silence thanking God for reminding us once again the importance of the interior part of life which is the consciousness that is our soul that's the nucleus that's everything when it is really when it's really full when it's really active and when it has got light it will be automatically radiated outside when that real thing is really doing good you can make it out and others can make it out so let us use our energy let us use our time let us use our talents as much as possible to make something very solid the rest of our lives in the world to make so pure within self and to be happy about one's own self and doing justice to one's own soul and thanking god for this genuineness in life Let us intercede for the whole world the rest of the time. All those who 
asked our prayer support all those who requested to pray for them the people whom we are committed to pray let us surrender our prayers and prayer intentions at the feet of Jesus right now as we prayed this morning praying for all the elderly people with their old age difficulties people who are having anxieties and worries connected with this pandemic because of their old age or other health issues those who are living single and those who are alone those who feel really lonely and lost in life all kinds of helplessness and hopelessness in life people who are sitting idle disappointed and discouraged who are not able to speak to anyone people who are really counting their days without doing nothing who are not able to do anything no loved ones around and nobody maybe no one is really caring for such a people so we can strengthen them through our sincere prayers that what we can do all those who are going to sleep tonight with various thoughts connected with worries anxieties fear sorrows and grief and those who are not getting good and proper sound sleep due to all this negative stuff and other health issues offer all your other prayer petitions and offer your personal intentions offering all those who are worshiping God right now using the Facebook platform and the YouTube platform at this time your families and your spouse and your children the intention which is so close to your heart right now offer it everything if you can be on your knees please kneel down and open your both hands Let us worship the Lord. We know that our primary element to be here to worship God, nothing else. Healing takes place during the time of worship and adoration. God bless his children whenever he wishes upon accordingly. For him there is no time, for him there is no space. He is beyond time. and he knows the right time to in, intervene into our human lives on earth so loving children of god if possible open your both hands worship the lord in your own way silently or verbally thank you lord praise you jesus thank you holy spirit praise you holy spirit lord we worship you and we adore you We thank you Lord for joining with all the created beings in the world. Thank you Lord for all that is happening in this world. Thank you Lord for all the holy people living with lot of sacrifices in the world. Thank you Lord for all the holy eucharistic celebration which are going on in this world today. Thank you Lord for all the holy hours of this day. Thank you Lord for all the people who are witnessing your love on this world. Thank you Lord for all the virtues of this people you are children thank you Lord praise you Jesus Lord we worship your mighty providence upon us your protections thank you Lord for your love thank you Lord for keeping us safe thank you Lord feeding us with right and good thoughts thank you Lord for us giving reminders giving reminders again to speak to us personally to walk on his path thank you Lord for giving your love your mercy your genuine love thank you lord 
praise you jesus hallelujah father thank you lord hallelujah jesus hallelujah father praise you jesus hallelujah jesus love you jesus glorify you jesus hallelujah 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 glorify you lord worship you lord lord we pray by the power and the anointing and the compassion and the love of the priesthood all those who are worshiping you right now all that they need according to your wish and will grant to them right now with your love thank you jesus praise you jesus all those who are depressed and sad comfort them right now all those who are searching for answers lord feed them with the right answers thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah jesus glorify you jesus thank you spirit praise you spirit hallelujah lord thank you lord praise you jesus thank you lord praise you jesus thank you holy spirit praise you holy spirit thank you lord praise you jesus hallelujah good to read whenever we have time book of proverb chapter 18 that will help us book of proverb chapter 18 thank you jesus praise you jesus Thank you Holy Spirit praise you Holy Spirit Thank you Lord praise you Lord we worship you Say a small prayer for your spouse say a small prayer for your children and your parents and all the departed members of your family in silence Let us sing together down in adoration and prepare ourselves for benediction. Let us pray Lord our God in this great sacrament we come into the presence of Jesus Christ your son born of the virgin mary and crucified for our salvation may we who declare our faith in this fountain of love and mercy drink from it the water of everlasting life we ask this through Christ our lord
Let us do the divine praises together. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen.